come with me all this way to actually learn about hepatitis B. And uh, one of the issues that people don't understand well is about acute and chronic hepatitis B. Are these the same things or uh, they mean different things? Sometimes you would hear people say acute and they are implying that it's severe. And when they hear chronic, it's almost like saying the person is dying. But interestingly, I want you to know that those terminologies of acute and chronic do not mean anything more than definitions. They are quite simple. Acute means that the... Uh, there are... Okay, let me take you through actually aspects of the definition that will make it easier for you. In terms of duration, acute hepatitis B means that the infection lasts less than six months. Whereas chronic means is greater than six months. So it has nothing to do with severity. Okay. Uh, in acute infection, the outcome of the immune activity, in other words, when the virus enters the body, uh, it would have been cleared completely out of the body so that the person recovers completely. If there is persistence of that infection beyond six months, then chronic hepatitis B is said to have developed. Now, that terminology does not mean that the person is dying. It just means that they have had the virus existing in their body beyond a particular period, which is six months. In terms of the age at which there is a highest likelihood for a patient to have acute or chronic hepatitis, uh, for acute, most of those who have infection as adults have only the acute infection and they cure it out of their system. The reason is that their immune system, that is the soldiers that fight infections, are well developed. That is, if they don't have any other underlying illness. And so when the virus enters the body, the immune system fights it and removes it out of the system. On the other hand, infection acquired in childhood is associated with prolonged illness, meaning that they are more likely to carry on the infection for a lifetime. And this is unfortunately the most common scenario in Africa and Asia, and where children acquire the infection within households and from their mothers. And that means that there is a higher chance of chronicity. That is the one that comes with some associated downhill problems, which we will look at later on. In presentation, in terms of the way the symptoms and signs, the acute infection presents dramatically. In other words, you see people sick, fever, temperature, in other words, jaundice and abdominal pain and so on. We will look at that in detail at some point. The chronic infection is less dramatic. Sometimes people would not even know that they have had it. For most people will actually have gone for some blood test in hospitals and they have picked up uh, an infection evidence. So this is just about that. And I stop here at this point. Uh, I cannot wait to welcome you on the next lecture. Thank you very much for now. Bye-bye.